Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm continuing my Marvel Legends Spider-Man 3 series. This of course is the uh, Sandman Built-A-Figure series. And today we have figure number 4, which is the Green Goblin. Of course this is the movie Green Goblin, as you can see in there. It comes with just the uh, right leg piece, it's not the... They split the legs into two sections for some reason, but... It's a very small bath piece. Back you have a little bit of a bio on Norman Osborn and his stats. Quick look at all the figures needed to build the Sandman. Very cool. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright guys, and we are back with Green Goblin. First off, the uh, part of the right leg for the Sandman bath. Very cool. <clears throat> and he comes with one accessory, just his glider. And I have to say, this is one of the coolest Green Goblin gliders that I've seen. Um, I just really like the design of it. If you can see, it's got this really cool purple. It's got like a nice texture to it. A lot of cool design. He's got these nice foot pegs with the like rest for his ankles. And this one actually goes. Like, so you can set it down or do it out. It's really cool. The only complaint I have about it is it just doesn't stand up. Like, you see, it just kind of aims forward. Like, I wish it had a stand so it could sit up. But it just kind of angles down, drives me crazy. But if you see, it has the little uh, pumpkin bombs. They don't pop out or anything, but they're actually loose inside there. They just kind of roll around. Just kind of something cool to look at. It's kind of neat that they did that. Very cool. I really like how you can you can display it up like that or, or put it down. I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, onto the figure himself. Uh, very movie accurate. Looks really good. It's got a pretty cool green. Kind of reminds me of a, a Master Chief green. Just really solid forest green, I guess. Very cool. See the detail on the face there looks really good. I like all the different texturing that they put in there. They did a lot of nice sculpting on him. And I'm really just really amazed with all the work they put into these movie figures. Um, it almost seems like the movie figures should be, you know, cheaper or whatever, but not from this line. This line, they put a lot of work into these. I'm really impressed. But uh, articulation, he has a really nice ball joint on his head. A ball jointed shoulder. A swivel at the upper bicep. Double jointed elbows. A swivel at the wrist. And then a back and forward pivot at the hand. I guess that was the uh, mid forearm. And then he has finger joints, which all four of his fingers move on both hands. Then he has a uh, really uh, good moving torso joint, so almost kind of loose, you can see that. Then he has the swivel at the waist, and he has those, those kind of ball joints at the hips that I really hate. I don't like those. You can't really get their legs forward very well. And then he has a side-to-side -side swivel in the mid-thigh, double-jointed knees, and a swivel in the calf. A back and forward pivot at the foot, as well as a side to side pivot and toe joints. So he's sporting a lot of articulation, uh, really impressive. Um, especially for a movie figure, like I said, to me, my thought is uh, the movie figure should be, you know, just kind of put out quick and use other body molds. And I just didn't expect them to actually put a lot of work into them, but they put a lot more work into this movie line than they did just about any of the other lines so really impressive so that was the green goblin thanks for checking them out